What is going on guys, it's your boy, Just Boogie, and I'm back with a new series. Sorry I've been away for a, a, a while, so much has gone down, but that's for another video. Right, so today, as you see from the title, and this bad boy, we're doing another arcade one-up build. I brought this a while ago, um, it was a non-working cabinet, um, basically the screen was smashed. And I'll show you that now. There you go. A close up. Um, yeah, the screen got obliterated. Someone had, uh, from the looks of it, from the um, screen protector, put a pole through it or something, and I'll show you the screen protector now. <laughs> there is the screen protect uh, well the yeah I mean the bezel um, and it looks like someone either shot it or stuck a pole through it <laughs> I don't know whether that was a kid with a temp temper tantrum or people got more money than sense I don't know so I picked this up um, but to be honest I don't really think it was worth it I picked it up because I wanted to have an official arcade one cabinet i don't know why um spare at the moment thing i think because the one i built before so much stronger than this this is just this is terrible um and i didn't do that for effect on the camera that's just what happened um so it comes with the main board it comes with the joystick all the joystick buttons were pushed out all the micro switches were pushed out so when you pushed a button it didn't work so gone in there tidied all that up I'm not going to be using this though this still works I've got the main board like I say um, it plays blind by that I mean it will play the sound will work um, you obviously twist the joystick and stuff um, it all works it all sounds but there's no picture because obviously the screen has been obliterated so um, probably going to sell that if it doesn't sell I might just stick a um, raspberry pi in there and uh, have a one player no, no. thing you just took up to your TV who knows uh, come with the hardware that's quite hard to find sometimes I won't be using it because I'll be using my own stuff I won't be using the marquee because I'm gonna again have a digital marquee and um, for those trained eyes out there if you spotted it yes I've got a steering wheel. It's my steering wheel, it's been up in the attic for ages because I uh, upgraded to a Fanatec. Anyway, again, that's for another video. Um, on my gaming channel, you'll see why I'm quite a, a uh, online racer. So, I think you can see where this is going. Yes, I'm gonna build an arcade racer. I'm not gonna have the joysticks, not gonna have the buttons. It is gonna be, trying to replicate a Daytona cabinet from the arcades from the uh, I think it's 1993 to 1994 the, the original Daytona cabinet because that cabinet ever since I was a kid I love that cabinet I don't know why I, I always said I didn't have a girlfriend at the time um, I think it was just friends I will own that cabinet um, just unfortunately the cabinet's too big I tried sizing up the garage but it's probably going to get ruined in there because the, the garage suffers with damp um, and it's massive and I probably want to convert it anyway so um, why not have this next to the one I built um, in the man cave job done so um, that's going to be the build it's not going to be as comprehensive as the one I built from scratch because you've seen it all and uh, I can refer you to my other videos tons of other videos out there on YouTube um, but this will mainly be uh, the software side of things which everyone wanted and I'm sorry I didn't do it on my old one um, to be honest what happened with that is in main as you know you've got to calibrate all the buttons for every single game I did about 200 or so games and I got bored of it and I fell out of love with it just because it was the same thing I wasn't playing anything I was just going into one game testing it uh, quickly testing the buttons making sure they uh, they worked on with the next day I didn't actually play any games and as you can imagine 200 plus games not playing anything sitting there it got very very boring 
and I just lost interest in it. Um, it was there basically. I switched it on, and it just randomly played through. Go, uh, you know, just the um, a track mode. It was cool, but um, racing is where my heart is. Anyone who knows me knows I love the cars, so this is the way forward. Um, it's recommended to use a Logitech G25, G27, G29, or 920. I think I got that right. Um, but I'm going to use a Frostmaster, they're better wheeled. I tried to sell this Frostmaster. This is, I brought this originally from back in 2013. Very light use. I tried to sell it to get a, a Logitech, and to be honest, I'd sell that for hardly anything and have to put loads of money in to get a Logitech. And anyone knows that who's, who's had one, who's thinking about buying one, they're an entry level wheel. They're cog driven, all plastic clog, cogs, and uh, they're not that great. But to be honest, I was paying a ton more for that than this, and this is such a better wheel. But it's recommended for a Logitech. I'm not going to go that route. route. I'm going to do it differently. A, because I've got the wheel um, and don't want to spend another 200 pounds or whatever they're going on now, second hand, uh, on marketplaces and stuff like that on eBay. So I'm going to have to do things a bit differently. That's how I roll. Custom, baby. So the next vid video you'll see is me trying to attack this. Um, it's not great. The artwork's all scratched up. Um, so I've ordered new artwork. Um, this will go because I'm going to have pedals. Everything is going to be custom. It's not, I could just slam it on here. It's been done before, been done loads of times. It doesn't look great. You lose screen real estate. And I want something different. So um, if you're interested, stick around. Click the subscribe button. Do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up for filming this for you because it does take a lot out of me. Um, it does take a lot to film. and then edit and post it and if you could please do me a favor give me a thumbs up and uh, that's gonna be it for this video guys if you're interested I will be doing videos if there's something you really want to know um, let me know and I'll try and see if I can incorporate it in this build other than that please 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 do not message me asking for de uh, the details of the, um, the plans I found them online, uh, on forums and stuff like that. It took a bit of uh, research, but they're all out there. The one thing that annoys me is I had a ton of people going, oh, I just subscribed, can I have all the plans? You help them out, and before you know it, they've unsubscribed. Um, it's a bit out of order. <laughs> I can see, I, I wouldn't do it personally. Um, so I'm not going to help people out, I'm sorry, but I've given so much time and then they've just basically stabbed me in the back by unsubscribing. All they wanted was the plans. Um, I'm not going to give you the plans, guys. It's out there. Go find them yourself. Um, all you've got to do is print them. And uh, basically you'll have that shape that you just cut out of MDF like I did on my old one. If you want to watch that, I'll leave a link in the description and up here or up in wherever it is, I don't know. Um, well, with that saying, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you on the next one. And I do want to say something. It's probably going to be my new catchphrase because I've been going through so much, um, and I don't want to uh, say the word. But I've been that down and depressed. Uh, I, I, I think you can see where this is going. So what I wanted to say is, if you're going through the same thing, please talk to someone. I'm probably not the best guy, but if you really need to talk to someone, there is my email. Please don't use my email, it's just your personal uh, messaging trying to get me thanks for this. It, it's out there for, if you really need the help. So, um, my message, guys, never give up. <laughs>